Sorry for the nakedness. I'm sick, so I'm in the bathtub. I'm gonna die in the bathtub one day. Like, if I die alone, it will most likely be in a bathtub because every time I feel sick, I get in the bathtub. Regardless. I need help. Not not financial help. Not to the PayPal. I don't even start. She's grifting. I need legal help at this point. I also need for my freaking phone to not freeze up. Anyways, um, this is an email that I received tonight. This is clearly Adonis Paul, for one. Let's go ahead and get that out of the way. This is my stalker, Adonis Paul, and he is trying to set up a murder charge for me. I'm not going to read this whole thing because I, I, I don't need to. It's all bullshit and it's all lies. Um, what I'm showing right now is the fact that he's saying, you know, this is life or death. This is important. This is intimidating harassment. And what it is, is they're saying that Kathy is going to the police and getting information about the night that Meemaw fell. Um, I don't know what information she's looking for. They are trying to create a timeline that does not exist. They're trying to say that this man, Corey McIntyre, who is obviously Adonis Paul, is a friend of mine who was with me the night Meemaw passed, which there was nobody with me the night Meemaw fell. Um, they're, they're, they're trying to, they're, they have created a whole nother person to testify lies against me to put me in jail for a crime that I did not commit. They're saying that I waited days to call the police for my grandmother when she fell, and that's not accurate at all. I waited maybe an hour until my grandmother was comfortable enough to call 911 because she had spent the majority of the year in the hospital and she didn't want to go. And neither of us knew how bad she was hurt because she fell all the time. And she normally wasn't that badly hurt. She had been falling a lot since she had had a heart attack in 2013. Um, so what had happened, what she told me and the police, the paramedics and the hospital workers and her children, she told us all the exact same thing which was she was on the phone with her eldest daughter, Catherine, who called her every Sunday night. She hung up. She stood up. She lost her equilibrium. She stumbled backwards. She fell against the piano. I heard the crash. I came out and found her that way. And she told me that she had fallen after putting the phone up. I asked her, what she wanted to do. Was she wanted to go to the hospital or she just wanted me to help her up? She said, give her a moment. She wanted to get dressed before going to the hospital and she found out that she couldn't because she was injured too badly. Me and her had a long discussion about whether or not I was gonna call an ambulance. But it wasn't because I was plotting with some man over what to do. It was because we had an agreement that I wouldn't force her to go into a hospital and she wouldn't force me to go into a hospital. But it, it definitely was not days. And if she went to the police, that's perfectly fine. See, she told me at my grandmother's funeral that I was a murderer. She told everybody at my grandmother's funeral that I murdered my grandmother. And then I got my grandmother's death certificate. I had a friend with me that day that could verify this. The day I went to get my grandmother's death certificate, I looked at it real closely on the causes of death to see if homicide was listed. And it was not. There were a lot of causes of death. 
but homicidal granddaughter was not there. And I legitimately broke down crying right there. My friend had to lead me out of the courthouse because I was near unconsolable because I had spent months believing that my aunt had me like listed as a murderer in my grandmother's death certificate. And I found out that 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 wasn't true at all. And it absolutely broke me. So it's not surprising that my family is doing this, but it's sickening that my family is doing this. And this type of harassment, this type of, you know, saying it's life or death, you're going to go to jail, this is important. This is not just harassment, this is intimidation. Adonis Paul should know all about intimidating harassment. And that's what he's doing here. If y'all are going to contact the police, I advise you to do so. I am not scared because I have not lied. The story that my grandmother told about how she fell stayed the same no matter who she was telling it to, no matter how many drugs they had her own for the pain. You want to tell me that she was so resistant to admitting the truth that she's going to lie to everybody under heavy, heavy medication. You're full of shit. You're absolutely full of trash, Kathy. And this is not okay. This is a stalker attempting to intimidate me with his harassment. And I need legal help. Not because they're going to put me in jail because I haven't done anything wrong, but because these people will not stop with the harassment or the intimidation. And it is illegal to be intimidating in this form. 